welcome back to shanique world guys today we're gonna do a pick a card reading on who is doing marabu black magic voodoo spell work on you who who is doing marabu right voodoo black magic spell work on you who is doing it who like who who is doing marabu black magic juju voodoo spell work on you who is doing it now i'm gonna find out all right for that i have your eight stones you're gonna choose okay eight stones look at them carefully choose one stone carefully okay look at the stones okay some people choose every stone it doesn't matter sorry for the shaky camera so stone one we have here clear quartz rock crystal all right it looks like this also clear quartz can also look like this you see it look like ice all right it's the same thing some look like this okay and some look like that now we have here for the second stone so delete okay now for the third stone we have your rose quartz okay these are the rough stones because i like them natural so for the fourth stone we have here red jasper this is a rough one all right for the fifth stone we have here adventurine yes green stone all right it looks like this i haven't washed it yet i don't have time so for the sixth stone this is amethyst for your psychic powers all right sleep with this good for your intuition okay now for the seventh stone we have your orange calcite looks like this i don't know if you can see these stones but i hope you all can see them so looks like that all right then we have here my number one stone black tourmaline looks like this okay look like charcoal all right so breathe in breathe out choose one stone choose one or two or whatever anything you feel drawn to that's what you should watch anyways okay so so if you would like to check out my social media please do so okay and remember to like share subscribe to the channel i appreciate you all right so let's start back on our reading over here all right who is doing black magic marabou juju obiawok voodoo spell on you all right all right so let's go all right thank you for liking sharing subscribing to shani i appreciate you all right and for the new subscribers welcome 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 to the tribe okay this is a place for ascending masters all right and no other entities are welcome here unless you want to be rebuked all right so let's go for pile one rock crystal who is doing this marabou on you okay who is doing black magic on you who is doing the voodoo work on you all right for pile one i'm gonna start with the harry potter deck so pile one i call on the most i bless this area bless the people watching who is doing black magic voodoo marabou obia juju work on pile one 
Who is doing that thing? Too many. Can I get another card? Who is doing this spell work on pile one? Spirit. Okay. <laughs> Seem like they don't really want to say anything around here. Can I get some more oracle? I get some oracle card. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to Shanique. I appreciate you. So new beginnings at the bottom of this deck is new beginnings. Okay. So new beginnings at the bottom of the deck so much light i don't know now can i get some more cards spirit who is doing black magic voodoo spell work on taiwan who is doing black magic voodoo spell work on taiwan we have the king of cups okay cancer scorpio pisces energy at the bottom of the deck now let's see we have your Number 17, all right, as the starting of this card, hope, starting of this reading, which we have all. So, number 17, we have your hope, okay. We have your ace of coins in the reverse, okay. We have your number 13, transformation. We have your throat chakra in the reverse. Number 5. You might see 5, 13, and 17 a lot. Now we have here the 4 of 1s. Alright. You might also be seeing 4s a lot. We have your 5 of pentacles. And we have here the Eight of Sword. And we have here the Page of Cups. So who is doing black magic on you from these cards? I'm picking up the person who is doing strong black magic on you most definitely is a family member. All right, for part one. This is like an uncle. All right. A uncle or a sister look at her mixing portions this might even be a sister that don't like you that is in a competition with you this sister might feel like you are better than them or you look better than them let me explain how this sister is this is a type of sister who is hateful and bad mind and is not supportive they try to sabotage you all the time when you're doing something. If you have nice hair or if you have nice style, they want to copy your style. Okay. I'm also hearing that this sister might even try to make you feel like Cinderella. All right. Or if you're at a home, you might feel like Cinderella. You might feel like your parents don't care about you that much. Your parents care more about your sister. All right, or your sister don't appreciate anything that you do or they call you a witch, okay? Also, I'm seeing here, this might even be your uncle with the eight of sword right here. Your uncle might be somebody who is hating on your mother, all right? <clears throat> and they're doing some form of black magic on your mother and your entire family because they don't like you. Okay, they hate you. For some of you, it's not only, uh, this might even be a brother I'm hearing. Also, for some of you, I'm hearing this might be some other family member with the five of pentacles. Somebody feeling left out in the cold and abandoned, all right, who has been doing magic on your family. Okay, so, and I'm seeing that they are doing that because they want you to feel trapped with the um eight a sword and left out and abandoned in the cold with the five of pentacles they don't want to see you people prospering they don't want to see you people happy they don't want to see you people having no form of new beginnings that's the reason why they are doing strong black magic on you 
all right but i'm hearing that you are protected for pile one okay they are doing black magic on your family all right and you also four of ones they are trying to affect your stability because number four do mean stability okay they don't want that also some of you i hear that you know that these people are doing black magic on you but you don't say anything you throat chakra is blocked if you try to speak up it's like it's hard for you to mention this and other people if you go to a reader and they should know about this magic the reader has a problem to explain about it why because their throat chakra starts to get blocked okay because this magic is strong magic some of you i'm here this is done long 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 time before you were even born okay before your mom born your your dad born or your grandma born this is like a old war cold war going on between bloodlines okay that's what i'm picking up on for some of you i hear your sister is the one who is doing the magic because you are ever transforming and your sister hate that you might be a scorpio right you might be um aquarius libra gemini in your chart capricorn taurus cancer scorpio pisces in your chart all right you always see open situation like no matter what people try to do you no matter where you sit down right no matter what happened in your life even if you don't have money you don't have food somewhere how you survive to the next round where you end up still having money and you still have food okay no matter what happened in your life you still find a way to come out on top and some of you are here, you have been transforming, transforming. Like, you are like the phoenix that rises from the ashes, okay? You are ever transforming. No matter what happened to you in your life, you'll still be getting up back. And that's what these entities don't like, okay? They don't like that you can get up after what happened to you. And they always be looking and trying to, like, find a way how to attack you again they hate the fact that you are not trapped when they feel like they want to trap you they get trapped you understand spirit backfire everything on them when they think that they can trap you and i'm hearing that you are protected for this pile spirit is protecting you because it seems like you don't do people anything but people always try to do something to you vision quest yes these people they want you to feel left out and abandoned they don't want you to be free yeah fog yes these people always they do black magic on you so that you can feel trapped so that you don't know where you have opportunity so that you only see darkness so that you only see fog like no matter what you try it seems like you don't move forward in a life like you feel like you ever have too many obstacles yeah you don't see your path correctly because you have so many obstacles why because your sister has been doing black magic and somebody who have a rival with your family has been doing black magic and an uncle or a, some masculine we have two masculine energy here and one feminine energy here who is doing strong black magic on you for pile one and I'm also here and they are doing water line magic, water, river line magic, okay? That's where they also go and they put some boxes with your name and stuff like that and they put it in the water and they let it flow or they do some call down and some water guards to attack you. They give you water to drink and they make a spell over it, okay? They put the water in the glass, then they say a spell work over it. And that's what they have been doing. Some of you, if your relationship don't work out, it's because of this situation also. I'm hearing your sister don't like you. Your sister will try to fight you, even though you are the one who will pick up for your sister anytime. But this sister just envy you and bad man you and they cannot do anything about it. Because the entities are controlling this sister, okay? And I'm hearing that some of you, you have to check your yard. Because some of you, you have something planted in a bottle at your yard, okay? Somebody write down your name and things like that. Write down your family name and planted something in your yard, right? So that people cannot come out to anything good in your family. No, 
for some of you are here some of your parents broke the curse not fully but halfway and some of you are here to finish breaking the curse but i'm also hearing that some of you haven't broken the curse and an uncle or a brother or somebody is doing strong 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 hate spell magic towards you okay that's what i'm hearing and some of you have to be careful with to who you go to or to who you eat from you see this okay I'm also hearing that somebody is doing spell work. Some of you also, I'm hearing your sister or somebody has been doing spell work, mixing portions to protect you, all right? Not to do you anything, all right? So let me get an advice from Spirit and I go to pile. When I open the box, I saw set out the bonges. And I go to pile two after that. Can I get an advice for spirit? Can I get an advice for pile one? So pile one, I see here. Wow, wow, wow. Pile one, you must be a Scorpio. Strong in your chart. And we have your just say yes, okay? Say yes to spirit. And we have your transformation again. Twice we have transformation. Okay, so you must be a strong, strong Scorpio. You know how to transform things, okay? These people... No matter what they're doing, it's like you are always going to come out on top because some way or you might believe in God. You believe in God. You believe that God is the most powerful, okay? And things are changing. Things are transforming for you anyway because some of you have broken the curses. Why? Because you are a warrior woman, okay? You are a fighter. No matter what they try to you, nothing can beat you as long as you tr stay true to yourself i'm hearing i'm hearing that okay so thank you for liking share subscribing to shiny i'm gonna go now over to pile two right let's see who has been doing some form of black magic on pile two and why okay and what type of magic are they doing around here okay so let's go pile two Pile two, okay. Pile two. Spirit, who is doing black magic on pile two? Who is doing black magic on pile two? Voodoo. Woo! Child! Pile two. I hope you are seeing these cards. Let me put this one right here. Right, as I said, check out my social media sites, alright? Yes, like, share, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you. Who is doing black magic on pile too? Whoa! I hate this auntie. Look at this auntie. I don't like this card. This is the only card in the entire tarot deck that I don't really like. Okay? This one is, is crazy. Okay? Mm-hmm. Who is doing black magic on pile too? Oh! <laughs> oh my God, somebody... Oh my lord, no sir, three a sword. Two a sword. This is a family feud. Okay? Big, big, big family feud around here. This is a, these are some dark shit for pile two. I never see this one in pile two energy. Yet, yet, yet. Never ever in my life have I seen something like this in pile two energy. Say that I'm going to cleanse here some, some more. Yes. Cleanse everywhere, spirit, Lord of mercy. Yes, so let me get some holy water because this energy is not correct. This energy is not correct. So, pile two. So, we have here deception and envy. So, pile two, deception and envy. This energy is not correct. So we have your third chakra, we have your foundation and achievement, third chakra. So many cards. We have your suffering in silence. I'm going to just, I'm going to take all of them, okay? Don't make no sense, I put all of them back. So let me show you now these cards. I'm not even going to pull anything more, it's a lot. So we have your... The five of cups, okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. We have here um, King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, energy. 
we have seven of sword also aquarius libra gemini energy we have two of sword aquarius libra gemini energy we have three of sword okay aquarius libra gemini energy we have your page of wands oh sagittarius aries leo energy is that a page or what i don't know prosperity begins all right then we have your victory and success then we have your passion i'm gonna tell you pile two why your relationships don't work out sometimes so let's see here for who have problem with relationship in pile two right so we have your passion ignited we have third chakra third eye chakra we have foundation and achievement we have acceleration and motion sacrifice balance strong air sign you it intuition here too and suffering in silence so who is doing black magic on you the person doing black magic on you is very 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 deceptive very evil very envious okay this person some of you might be a friend but most of you this is some this is a lot of people pile to you have a lot of people doing black magic on you a lot of people who don't like you like them say like you have if you have a lot of friends are fake and if you have a small group you're real <laughs> well you have a small small group for pile two because a lot of people don't like you and a lot of people be doing um magic on you deception and envy i hear that you might have a grandma who is envious of you because you might be intelligent at school be doing good at school so they do some form of candle spell or they take your picture and put in front of the mirror they do a mirror spell on you all right then you have the five of cups if you are a guy watching this one of your friends they hate on you they don't like you they like to see you left out in the cold and abandoned and if you have a girlfriend right this guy hates you this guy hates the fact that you have a girlfriend okay they hate the fact that you have a uh, they, they hate your life yes men envy men also okay so if you are a guy watching this for pile two you have a guy they might look like this okay who hates on you who envies you or if you are female it's the same thing okay but i'm hearing that this guy hates the fact that you have a nice female who loves you and this and that and you don't like it's like you don't have a problem like they wish they have that so they hate on that then you have a king of sword you have some father figure right who is hating on you and casting black magic on you pile two i'm also here and this must not be uh for some of you since this card fell out like this right i'm hearing that you there might be a war going on in your family family feud like you need to watch pile one it's like somebody don't like the fact that your family is strong you might come from a bloodline of gypsy witches and things like this you have strong spiritual powers okay you are might also be a light worker or a wiccan or occultist you're watching this you must be an occultist most of you in pile one i'm seeing different different scenarios one scenario scenario a i'm seeing like a grandma don't like you because you are very good at school and things like that and they hate the fact that you are like intelligent like that then i see a fake friend who hates you because of some relationship situation they cannot accept that you have love or somebody love you them jealous okay and envious okay and deceptive so that's a fake person all right so watch out for your fake friend who is telling you like your girlfriend this or your boyfriend that and this and that and that okay 
And I'm also seeing right here, you have, for the third group, you have strong family feud right here. You have some form of third group. You need to watch pile one. I see that these people are fighting, okay? And uh, two are sweat, so they are trying to attack you since you are a child for this one here, pile two. Okay, you see this? Look how this one is doing the child, okay? You see this? You see this? They are trying to wipe out your generation, wipe out your family. That's what I'm telling you. Yes, three of sword, heartbreak. They want the entire bloodline of your family to have heartbreak. But I hear that you might have a brother who is also very good in this uh, black magic situation. You have a brother who is very good at doing spell work. So you have somebody in the family who is fighting against the demons okay there's a lot of war going on here spiritual warfare going spiritual warfare is real this is some dark 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 shit going on here i'm hearing that these people they're doing spell work back and front and back and front spell work working on each other striking down each other back and front and back and front if you wonder why some people don't like your family or why your family have some problem all the time or why your uncle and your auntie and these people they don't come together or why your family seems so weird is because of this strong black magic here here's a lot of witchcraft going on right here you see i make sure i go get something to search my place for reading this energy yes see you need frankincense and more for this pile too yeah and if you have relationship issues they are attacking every children in your family okay they don't care they just no matter who this is they want to might even look like this they want to attack all of you they want to wipe out your bloodline that's what i'm telling you uh-huh so I'm also hearing that you, you some one of you is a chosen child. One of you, you know that this is going on, okay? Who is watching this? You know that this is going on and you are the chosen child, okay? You are accelerated no matter what. Some of you have been suffering in silence about your life. You don't talk about your life. You keep your life under quiet. You don't let no one know what's going on in your family. You don't let no one know that your family is weird or you feel you feel different from your family yes you are the chosen one that's why that's why you're feeling different because only you can stop all of this thing going on okay and i'm also hearing your foundation some of you no matter what type of something you do with your foundation it always crash but guess what spirit is saying these en enemies they tried their best to destroy you, but it's not working, okay? Your third chakra, your crown chakra is not blocked anymore. Some of you, your crown chakra was blocked, but it's not blocked anymore. Right now, you are seeing things clearly and pretty saying only victory and success. Pile two, only victory and success is coming to you because you were meant to break these generational curses, these generational karma okay you were the one you were the seed look at this card you were the only seed do you see this you are the only seed that is protected you see is protected the growth your growth okay your growth for pile one pile two is protected and you will have victory and success and these entities they cannot sacrifice you they try to sacrifice you but it's not working okay you are going to bring balance in this situation yes yeah, so this is a spiritual warfare going on here against family friend here and i see here a grandma yes the grandma be doing mirror magic right here and your friend is sending you a whole lot of hate which is causing chaos in your life for pile two this might be a male male part, but mostly family feud I see here. They are actually doing a lot of black magic here, a lot of fighting right here. Okay, so yeah, let me get an advice though, right? Can I get an advice for pile two and I go to pile three? Spirit, can I get an advice? Advice for pile two.
advice for pile two. I only want one advice. Woo. Okay, the same thing fell out. So I got a lot of cards. So advice. Well, the first card I saw here is break the chain. Okay, for pile two, break the chain. Okay. You say ancestral pattern healing rewriting the future yes you are not the one to do what your family have been doing you are the one who's going to stop all this black magic you are the one okay who was chosen to be different all right and nothing no one can do because at the end, even if your karmic family wants to hold you back look they are only shadows in the past you see only shadows you have left the shadows okay and even if these are your shadows you are leaving your shadows behind and you are changing transforming into someone different all right behind that i see dance with life i see anna Anna, grandmother of jesus all right right divine plan yeah this was a divine plan so if you have been working too much for five two take a break okay take a break now off your work so thank you for liking sharing, and subscribing to shani i appreciate you now let me go now to pile three who has been doing black magic on pile three <clears throat> spirit who has been doing black magic on pile three let's see who has been doing black magic on fire tree i call on the most i as i said if you like to follow me over the social media check out my social media sites okay check out my social media sites okay. three. who is doing black magic on fire tree okay. who is doing black magic on fire tree? this card keep popping up okay so i'm gonna leave it out okay hope discontented boredom for pile three this person doing black magic on you is very discontented with their life okay that's the reason why they're doing magic on you okay that's what i'm picking up on might be a cancer scorpio pisces two of ones okay so this person i don't think they're doing black magic on you i feel like they're doing a binding spell on you why i don't know but that's what i pick up on the chariot might be a cancer 17 we have your hope we have 17 okay hope all right then we have your triumphant uh what is this triumph then recognition and reward okay then we have your spiritual union i know this this i did know this i did know this before i even pull out these cards completely i knew what this was up about then we have your destiny okay destiny mama look where you cry destiny oh yo i don't wanna lose my destiny i Nah, nah, nah. So we have here the Emperor Aries energy. Okay. Then we have here um four of sword Aquarius Libra energy. All right. We have here what is this? Two of sword, also Aquarius Libra Gemini energy. Who child? We have here the Ten of Sword, e Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. And then we have here the Chariot, yeah, Cancer energy. Okay, Cancer energy. So, who is doing black magic on you? So, I'm hearing that somebody, an Aries or a Cancer, our Aquarius Libra Gemini has been doing some real dark spell work on you. Why? Because they don't want you to have some form of spiritual union. I don't know. Higher level soulmate, twin flame, life partner, whatsoever. You see this guy over here. All right. The guy be like looking at the spiritual couple right here and be hating like this. Look at this. There's the infinity sign. This is a past life relationship that has been going on for years and months and 
from beginning of lifetime these people are together okay and then you have this guy over here who is hating with a passion and this relationship and they go to the devil right to do whatever they can do they sell their soul to the devil to stop this union wow 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 ten a sword four a sword two a sword this relationship might have been real tough okay for pile three your relationship is sticky and tough you might have backstabbed your person or your person has backstabbed you the worst way and your person is feeling trapped okay this energy you see all the rest of the cards are blue <laughs> all these cards over here are blue and this one is red this is a aries energy okay fire energy we is doing black magic on your water energy cancer scorpio pisces okay aquarius libra gemini energy all right strong strong this one went and sold their soul out of hatred okay out of envy okay out of discontentment out of feeling bored okay out of jealousy and bad mind this person went to do magic okay they go and your person might have been backstabbed and in four sword and confused by three why because you have the devil <laughs> the devil trying to stop a spiritual union wow 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 destiny mama look what you're calling destiny Mama, look what is whoa yo! I don't wanna lose my destiny. Ooh, I and I. Okay, so I see some of you feel like there's no hope in this connection because this person, your person, is just distant, confusing use you abuse you your person seems like they are so immature and all of this but you don't know that this person here for pile three you have a person in the background okay a aries energy who despise your connection and they'll do anything in their power because this person is the emperor who is more mature and things like this to destroy you and this emperor is street smart and book smart is not confused and you all know the emperor in reverse you all know this is number one narcissist so think about it pile three pile three Think about it, pile three. Do you have an ex? Or do you have somebody in your life who hates the fact that you were in a relationship? Or were you in a relationship with someone who actually didn't get over you? And you think, oh, I'm going to move on with my life. I'm going to be in a relationship with somebody else. And I don't care about the other person or something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Think back. Your best friend for some of you. Strong fire sign for some of you. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh. Strong fire sign. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm seeing that this person wanted to be your emperor, but things did not work out that way between both of you. So this person decided to take on the work or make a contract with the devil to destroy you. So if you feel like your relationships don't work out for part three, it's because you have some man 
is a man who is doing strong black magic on you because they want to break up what is destined a spiritual union okay a spiritual union and some of you you blaming your person saying that your person be doing it and doing this and doing that but you don't see the moon the moon behind the chariot right here you see the moon behind the chariot your person is also feeling pain because they don't even know what is going on some of them do know all right some of them do do things to hurt you but to us so they are chopped and confused all right and they are feeling backstabbed also and all they can do now is rest and rejuvenate because what they don't know how to move forward in this situation but god will make a way so who is doing black magic here i hear that uh some of you are in the public eye uh, you are going to be getting recognition and award for whatsoever you are doing or also for some of you this person might have a lot of finances and also be in the public eye okay so that's the reason why they have the money to go and pay entities right to do magic against you because they have a lot of money they are influential so what are you clinging on to so i see here the crumbling yes some of you might be clinging on to what you know right spirit is saying just go with the flow of life all right don't just be like okay let me make this and this decision make this and this decision love yourself take care of yourself because no matter what all right the wicked will never win psalms 91 every day for part three the wicked will never win no matter what okay so make sure that you are Ooh. what does this one say this one want to say something let me see something else wants to come out here and i'm gonna shuffle for it to come out aha warrior woman i saw this like three times you know so this is saying that you need to answer to whatever calling you have do what you supposed to do in this life this do not wait on this person do not think about this person do not involve too much with this person just go with the flow and trust your niggling feelings okay for part three trust yourself trust the feelings that you get trust your belly feeling some of you i must and i see your council of light divine orchestration god is working in this situation okay you have ascending masters behind you in this situation okay this something here is way out of proportion okay for part three your situation here is way 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 deeper than any reader can read all right this situation you need to sit down like two three days with a reader for a reader to find out every shit about this situation here why because this is coming back from past life after past life after past life you and this energy you people has been um in this situation past life and i open this box what i see here past life connection what i say this situation has been going on for past life of a past life you have this past life rival with an ex or something like this forgiving and learning yeah pay attention to the red flag yeah you you might need to forgive this person because you weren't paying attention to the red flag and maybe because of this person you learn how to spot red flags and things like that so at the end of the day everything that is happening right is happening for a purpose so i went to pick up one card so the card say trenum so you are most definitely separated from a spiritual union spiritual situation right here all right and that was divinely orchestrated to be like that so part three who is doing black magic and these things juju i see that the entities here is using one person here right the aries energy emperor energy to destroy your spiritual union that you have going on right here okay and no matter what they are doing this is destined for this energy to be doing this it was written 
as it was written back in the book of life. There's an mm -mm. you anyone know that song? You need to listen to that song. Your relationship situation right here was written long time back in the book of life. This is from the beginning of time that you have been in relationship with this person. Okay? And even if this person has disappointed you many times for pi, pi three, yes, this person was destined to be with you or come over in your part. Okay? Nothing you can do about the situation. It happened. Alright? And if you are someone who haven't been in a relationship and you're watching pile three yes you too you are destined to have some form of spiritual union with someone from afar right from a long time you have been in a relationship with this person past life after past life after past life all right all right so let's go now to pile four, uh, pile four because me i'll be here all day reading tarot so who is doing black magic? Who is doing black magic for pie for spirit and why? Who is doing black magic? Evil eye, Juju, Marabo, and pie for. So many cards fell out. Who is doing black magic? Juju, Marabo, and pie for spirit. We have 10 of ones at the bottom of the deck, all right? Remember to check out my other channels, my social media, all right? Because I post over there and I have everything in order now. So you can, maybe you see something that is valuable or beneficial to you, okay? Because I'm a teacher, I'll be teaching every day. Yes, that's how that thing goes. I teach people and I teach myself. You see that shit? We all are teachers. So I see your harmony at the bottom of the deck. All right. So is there anything else? Is there anything else? Is there anything else? Music. This person is into music. All right. So let's see these cards. First card we have here is judgment. First thing I know that pile four, this person who is doing black magic on you, all right, is doing graveyard magic on you. Okay, they're calling on an entities to attack you for pile four. Okay, they're doing some real graveyard magic. Okay, they're calling on their wicked uncle or their wicked great great grandfather or something like that to destroy you. All right, and this is a judgment card. Next is we have here the ten of cups upright. All right, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Then we have here the tower card. So for some of you, this is even a family member I'm hearing again for pile four. Okay, we have the tower right here. So, and we have here four of, what is this here? Eight of wands. Okay, for some of you, this is somebody at your workplace even. Okay, so the Taurus, Aries, Leo, seven of cups. Okay, so I'm also here and this is somebody who have a lot of option. Might be in the music industry. You might be in the music industry or you are a lone wolf. Okay, you do things by yourself. Or this person is like that. They are alone by themselves. We have your green man, Synergy. Okay. And we see grounding. You might be an earth sign. Foundation and achievement. This card came out like in every single pile until now positive movement forward all right so let's see what's up here so i'm getting that the person who is doing black magic on you is someone in your family and i'm also here and this is somebody at your workplace ten of cups four of one the tower i'm here and there is a girl a jealous bitch who don't like the fact that you have option or oh that's the reason why harmony is here all right and suffering in silence at the back all right there is a female all right who does not like the fact that you are in a relationship pie for if you're in a relationship or a guy it doesn't matter who that person is they hate it okay 
and they are doing magic on your life okay i'm also here and this might be a witch even this person is doing a whole lot of witchy spells on you they go into the forest they collect some witchy things okay you know mm -hmm. mushrooms and things like that okay and they do some form of magic on you this might even be a green witch who is doing magic on you this person wasn't a witch but it seems like you are this person is in love with someone that you are in love with for pile four and this female is doing a lot of magic all right a lot of spell work on you they might even have some form of voodoo doll at their house and i hear that i see it in my third eye this person right they have a voodoo doll of you so if you are wake up, waking up three o'clock in the morning early morning right it's because this female is doing that if you see you fighting in your dreams because this female is doing that and if you see right that you have headache all out of nowhere or you get angry all out of nowhere is this female who is doing it they're manipulating you manipulating your energy okay with their voodoo doll and ceremonies plus this one you know that this one is a witch okay it's an open witch i'm hearing people know that this one is a witch who is doing the magic on you okay because they are a lone wolf they are a lone magician they don't mix with people and they go to the graveyard okay and they call down on entities to attack you okay they send jinn even to you to try kill you even the jinn okay strong 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 dark magic this one is using okay i'm hearing that is different different energy different different people right some of you i'm hearing that this female they go to a obia worker and they pay the obia worker to destroy your life and destroy your union if you have lost a child it was because of this female if you were in some car accidents or you hit your leg somewhere it's because of this female is working on you with the voodoo doll and they send the entity they woke up some form of energy all right from the graveyard all right to be watching you so if you feel like you are being watched or some mysterious things are happening in your house paranormal activities your door is slamming out of nowhere right your water coca anything you're doing your 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 fridge door just open out of nowhere your wall job the door just slam out of nowhere or something drop off the table or you hear water dropping or things like this out of nowhere is because of this one doing all of this shit and for some of you i hear the tower and four of ones ten of cups some of you i'm hearing this is a co-worker who is doing magic on you because you are accelerating fast in life okay you have a solid foundation you are grounded and they hate this this is somebody who is in strong competition with you they want to strike down your foundation look whatever you're working on they want to destroy this foundation okay they don't care they see themselves in a competition with you okay the tower they want to break your situation whatever you working on okay and i see here they feel like you have too much chances too much opportunities so they want to strike you down so that you can look stupid okay they want to laugh at you if you don't have something yes this is the energy i'm talking about they know you have a lot of opportunities but and you are not even paying attention you are moving forward spirit is saying you should pay attention to energies around you okay you cannot be walking through the forest you cannot be walking like uh anywhere in the ghetto and don't watch your back you have to watch your back ask let you over here watch your back all right what even if no matter where you're working watch the people around you watch your back all right because a wolf might come and bite your foot like this all right or a gunman might wall you up all right me i learned this the hard way to watch my back okay when people are a piece of shit i just cut them off 
I learned it the hard way and I always be watching my back. Yes, yes, because you see here, you not watching your back and they're doing all of this shit. And this person might be into music or you are into music. And they are trying to stop your... But if you are doing a, if you are in a music business or you are doing some form of music, this person did a, a spell on you so that you have a creativity block. The place quiet. There I go. I said it. If you can do music real good and you just cannot push out forward because this person did a creativity block on your ass. <laughs> no, you cannot push out forward, okay? Okay. No, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get advice because this reading here is spooky. My light went out. Everything is out right here. I'm going to light something. Can I get the advice to it? Papa, four. Don't tell people anything. And if people are calling you and asking you what's up, what, what is going on with you, don't tell them anything. Why? Because they want to find out what you're doing so that they can attack you. So just focus on your shit that you're focusing on. Papa, four, don't tell them anything. They want to block you. Anything you're doing, they want to block your progress. And they will send magic for you so that you can crash your car. But when you crash your car, you get in a new car. <laughs> yeah, they think they're gonna you're gonna crash and die, but at the end of the day, you crash, you get a new car, and you are perfectly fine. Oh my lord, all the cars fell down. Can I get an advice? Okay. For you go first, the universe will catch you. Yes, spirit will always have your back. Okay, can I get one card? Can I? How can you mother yourself? Okay, beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic teacher. Okay, so you are a light worker. Okay, and I see here you need to mother yourself. Some of you, you haven't been, you might work real hard at your workplace. Okay. And people still don't give you allocates or they don't care about, um, they try to trick you or cheat you at your workplace. Don't worry. Don't stress yourself to work at this place. All right, Papa, for if it's a workplace, I'm here and it's a workplace and I'm also here as a jealous girl. All right. All she do is like, oh, I don't like this girl. All right. I want to destroy her life. I don't like that the fact that she is is doing good and things like this so i'm doing some form of magic and spell work on this girl okay also i'm here and they're doing some form of root work on you all right so you might have irregular menstrual cycle because they're doing the root work on your body okay so you need to drink a whole lot of water yes let you know what letty is talking about yes so you need to drink a lot of water and eat a lot of fruits. Even if you feel like you cannot eat no fruits right now, eat them. Papa, four, that was it. I'm not looking further into the situation. If you want a private reading, I'm open for private reading in January. I'm not doing no private reading right now. All right. I have to love myself too. See, so let's go now to pile five. Who is doing magic on you, pile five? Who is doing black magic, right? Marabo, voodoo, juju, spell work on you for pile five. So we have your discontentment and boredom again. I'm going to pull, um, let's see. Uh, let me take this one here. Oh, I can put this here. I'm going to take this tarot because I like this one. Add pictures of family. Add pictures of friend. Me love my family, but me not trust you all of them. My son, echo, but that's how me feel. Spirit, call on the most high. We're doing pile five now. Who is doing black magic around here? Marabo, waterline, magic, juju. 
Oh, I'm hearing that. Oh, family. Ami say family. Friend killer. Aha, uh -huh. so I'm hearing that this might be a friend. Also, I'm hearing that this might be a neighbor. Deception, envy. What is it? Suffering in silence. I think all these cards came out in the other day. Triumphant success. So they're trying to block your success, okay? Four of Pentacles. Um, Knight of Pentacles. What is um Ace of Pentacles. You might be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, because this dominate this reading. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Four of Cups. The Strength card, Leo, and Capricorn. So Capricorn, you're dealing with uh, Leo, okay? And I'm hearing that your neighbor has been doing black magic on you. If you have been seeing a lot of crows, because this is the crow deck, okay? You might be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, okay? You are the Queen of Pentacles. This is the Queen of Pentacles tarot card, okay? You are the wounded soldier. You feel like you give, 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 and you always meet up on entities. You always meet up on people who want to trick you, use you, and abuse you, pile, pile, right? That's because you, you also might be a Leo because I see here the sun card, okay? With the crow deck. You have strong connection to crows since I decide to use this deck, right? These entities do not want you to have new beginnings. They want you to be feeling left out in the cold and abandoned. And I'm also here, and this is your neighbor. Some of you, your neighbor is racist. And some of you, I hear your neighbor be trying to destroy your car, destroy your house, having petty arguments, petty fight with you, all these things. Some of you, your neighbor might be Russian, <laughs> I'm sorry, or from New Orleans, okay, or Haiti or something like that. And this one knows some good magic on you, okay? They'll come to you and be like, ah, oh, hi, what's up, and this and that, right before they did some form of spell work and put some form of potion under your door. That's what your neighbor do. Okay, they hide things at your door so you can walk over it. When you walk over it, all right, then it affects you. It affects your root chakra. Whatever magic your neighbor is doing for pile five, right? Because they are envious of you. This one is to affect your root chakra, okay, and your base chakra so that you don't have success. And some of you are suffering in silence, I hear, or your neighbor is suffering in silence of envy because they hate on you. And I'm also here, some of you, your neighbor might be sick, or some of you, your neighbor move away. They move away because of karma. They're getting karma. Yes, yeah, spirit is giving them karma. They are sick because they're getting karma for hurting you. Some of them are financial issues. And they're getting karma. Some of you are Capricorn Taurus man is coming in your life. You had problem with a relationship. It's because of your neighbor. Okay? Where you live might be an issue right here. Okay, that's what I'm picking up for five five. You have some this is a this is not a most of you this is a neighbor. One hundred percent. A neighbor. They're doing some they hate on you and they're doing some form of spell where they put the Put the potions in front of your house. Now I understand why these Africans, they like to throw water. When they wake up, the first thing these Africans, they do, they throw water. Why? Because of something similar like this. Alright? This, this neighbor here despise you, I'm hearing. Now, can I get, um, can I get any more messages, spirit? Some of you, you better be careful with your child. Move away if you can, if you are still around, something like that. Because I hear these neighbors, they don't even like children. Is there anything else? To a sword. Yeah, they want you to be feeling trapped and confused. Your neighbor might be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Knight of Wands. Okay, so, ooh, I priestess. What I'm telling you. This neighbor know good, good, good magic. Ace of Pentacles twice. Okay, but I'm hearing that you are going to have some form of new beginnings in your life. No matter what. You might have a, a cat or you might be a high priestess yourself. You might also know that your neighbor is some form of crazy piece of person. Okay? Or you two have a black cat. Or you two know how magic works. Because the high priestess do know everything about magic. Okay? 
even if they don't know everything right now they learn so i see something about a relationship can i get more messages spirit can i get messages spirit? milk and honey poise come to the edge okay so i see that for pile five you two are having victory over so i feel like no matter who is doing black magic right now many people are having victory over this situation no matter what they're doing like it's like something changed in the atmosphere which is causing that people who are doing bad thing it backfires unto them because i see that is what is going on here whatever magic they be doing to affect you is backfiring tenfold unto them okay that's what i'm picking up on now let me go now to pile what is pile six i'm gonna go to pile six because this one was pretty quick clear, clear reading right that's why zay 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 clear okay very clear as i said if you want to check out my social media you can do so right now i'm going to go to pile six and what i want to use this deck to pile six <laughs> wow 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 pile six who is doing black magic marabou on pile six who is doing black magic marabou on pile six we have here two of pentacles we doing black magic marabou and tile six we have okay let me talk to some card really fast we doing black magic marabou and tile six this is too much i'm gonna put back these cards i call on the most i bless this era who is doing black magic marabou and tile six spirit please give me the cards for tile six Please give me the cards for Pile 6. Please give me the cards for Pile 6 that I should be for the collective energy on YouTube. Pile 6, collective energy. I think that's enough. That's a lot of cards. So, okay, this card deck is finished now. Alright. So, let's see here. Pile 6. Who is doing black magic on Pile 6? Can I get two more cards? now can i get a oracle card okay that one on the fly there okay i'm gonna look at this at the end so for five six we have here the star card so you might be a aquarius libra gemini energy okay with the star card most definitely aquarius so we have here the five of sword <sighs> Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Woo! Damn. We have here the Tree of Sword. Jesus Christ. So we have here the Empress. We have here King of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have here the Magician. Pile six. Then we have here the Emperor Aries energy, Queen of Wands, Sagittarius energy, King of Cups, Cancer of Scorpio, Pisces energy, Strength card, Leo energy, Queen of Sword, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Who is doing black magic on you? Pile six. I hear that who is doing black magic on you we are seeing here a mother figure I see a mother figure going to a magician to do black magic on you and I feel like they are doing some form of strong candle magic on you all right so that you do not be with their son and you might have a crystal ball or you might be a magician voodoo list yourself for pile six 
And some of you are hearing that this is an Illuminati energy doing the black magic on you. Demons, entities. Okay? One card fell out here. Ten of sword fell out. So they want you to be distinguished. We have here the seven of, five of sword. And three of sword, a lot of sword mentality and ten of sword. And we have the empress. So some of you, this might even be your own mother. A karmic. And you are the star. Why am I picking up that? Look at this. Some of you, this might be your own mother, blood mother, who is a karmic. Ah, your mother is an entity who was sent back in this life, disguised as your mother, so that they can destroy you since you are a child. Some of you is even your father, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The Empress might be a Taurus, Aquarius, the Magician. Some of you, I'm hearing that your mom, the boyfriend is doing love spell on you, binding spell on you, buying you things and things all the time in a funny way. This one is doing binding spell on you. I'm hearing they have been trying to destroy you. Look at this. Ooh, look at this tree of sword. It seems like they sit on you and stab you in the back and they look at you like if you are dead. Ooh, child, is she dead? Can we sit on her head some more and kill her some more? Hmm? Let us sit on her head and kill her some more. Let us stab her in the back with two swords, one year so and one year so. Even if she's dead already, let's kill her some more. I'm looking at these cards. Blood everywhere. Blood everywhere. The star card. I'm hearing that you are the star. And they have been trying to hold you down. But you are rising up looking beautiful. After ten of swords. What is this? Five of sword. I'm also hearing that the, the entities, right? Government system, Babylon system, demons, you have been going through a spiritual warfare since you are a child, man. Like, since you are a child, you have been attacked, man. Like, church group, Government group, school group, everyone always be attacking you. Why are so many, so many major arcanas out here? King of Pentacles, Emperor, Queen of Wands. Okay, so you might be very much attractive and if you are female, you attract a lot of narcissists. Why? Because these are entities sent to destroy you. Because you are a light worker, energy healer. You are doing, your presence alone is helping the world. Okay? You are going through a spiritual warfare I'm picking up for this file. Right now, I feel like you are the queen of sword energy. Okay, so it seems like you, have, you must have to be strong in any situation you were in. I'm also hearing that these demons try to abuse you wickedest way. Take your innocence and this since you are a child and even your mother. I feel like you don't have nobody except God. And when you thought you could trust somebody, they were a demon also. So Pisces. This is not even some black magic. I'm also hearing your mother uh this, there is somebody who is going to a magician they're going to a magician to do black magic on you karmic relationship i swear to 
god look what pop out here karmic relationships oh my god pile six like most of your relationships are karmic in Orion energy, polarity, soul growth, conflict, karmic relationships. These relationships was in your life so that you can evolve spiritually, so that you can be the warrior you are, so you can be the soldier for the army, okay? You need to be praying all the time, manifesting all the time. The card said, make your life a prayer. I'm done. Who's doing black magic on you for part? Uh, this one is saying, let go of what you're clinging on to say yes to spirit. Whoever has been doing black magic on you is too many people. That's why the energy here is too much. Too many people doing black magic on you. Why? Because you are a light worker. I'm hearing your mother. Your mother, own mother, has been doing some root work on you, and some of you have been raped as a child. Before 2021 come, I'm going to advise you, do all the cleansing necessary to cleanse yourself. Smoke out your pum pum. Smoke off your khaki. All right? Do a lot of salt bath, ground yourself in nature, protect yourself, all right, so that you are more stronger, okay? I'm here, you are actually strong because I saw the strength card. I'm hearing that you people are murdering entities now. You cut off your mother. You are cutting off your sister, your brother, anyone who did you dirty. You are cutting them off without warning. I'm hearing you are rising to the occasion, right? Rise to the occasion. Look at yourself and say you're strong. No one can stop you. Rise to the occasion. Go ahead, you know you're strong. No one can stop you. It's for you to trust me. Go and listen to that song. I don't know who sing it. If it's a Buju or a Sizzler. Yes? This song is for you, okay? All right. Now, let me go now to um Pile 7. All right, who has been doing black magic on Pile 7? <laughs> that was some strong spiritual warfare going on in Pile 6. Pile 7, spirit, who is doing black magic on Pile 7? Oh, and if you want to know which deck I'm using, all right, it said Santa something another, Book of the Dead and something another. Okay, that's how that deck is. All right, so let's see here. Come, Pile 7, I call on the most, I bless this area. If you want to check out my social media please do so all right you might learn something over there all right so five seven who's doing black magic on five seven no sir who's doing black magic on five seven spirit call on the most i bless this area so hey we have here the judgment card popping out like that I hear anybody who has been doing black magic on you are facing judgment now. Divine judgment, I hear. Spirit, can I get the cards for this one? All right, let me hold it that way. Them cards are slippery now. Huh? Wine slow. Wine fast. Bussy cloud. Bussy cloud, I make the rain fall. Wine slow. Tick tock. Bussy cloud, I met the rainfall, oh Lord. Bussy cloud, I met the rainfall. So, who is doing black magic? We have here the strength card. All right, you might be a Leo. All right, you might be feeling some sexual energy right now. I don't know. I'm hearing Bussy cloud, I met the rainfall, oh Lord. Bussy cloud, I met the rainfall. I want you to wine slow. Nah, nah. 
Ooh, we have the spirit to a union. Bust the cloud and make the rain fall. Oh, la. Bust the cloud and make the rain fall. Um, is there any more uh, messages? Let me get messages here. Yes, Queen of Cups, Cancer Scorpio, Pisces. That's what you are. Okay, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So let me show you these cards. We have here the Wheel of Fortune. All right, the Wheel of Fortune. We have here the Ace of Cups. All right. Ooh, I like this one. It looks so beautiful. Yeah. We have here the Five of Sword. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All right, we have your seven of pentacles. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. So we have your star card, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have two of cups. All right. So we have your triumphant and fear, emotional, what is this, uh, withdrawal. And we have your king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. We have your spiritual union. So, who is doing black magic and marabou and why? So, I'm hearing that. Oh, we don't have the hair fan popping out. Spirit? Yeah. Okay, we have quick king of pop cups popping out instead of the air fan. So, I'm hearing this is a love interest. You need to watch one other pile. This is a love interest with trying to block you from having some form of spiritual union with somebody you need to watch one other part all right oh so i'm hearing that entities has been trying to trying to stop you from being into a spiritual union maybe this is the reason why corona is even going on too because many spiritual unions should come together and even the government system, they know about that. Okay, the Illuminati, okay. For pile seven, you might be an animal activist, okay, vegan activist, activist against um, human rights activists, okay. Um, what do you call this one? You might be speaking up for people who have been abused. All right, you are some form of activist or social worker or something like that, or a lawyer, or you are working on behalf of light workers. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. And you are supposed to be in a spiritual union. You might be seeing two tools a lot, and I see here green a lot. Okay, you might be feeling emotionally withdrawn from the entities. All right, but I'm hearing that these people they know they know what is this seven of pentacles they want you to be feeling left out in the cold and abandoned these are like in the government system even though i don't see that the um taros or the hair font or something like this fall out i know 100 percent these are government systems too who are trying to stop you from being in union with somebody or even if it's union with yourself because sometimes spiritual union is union with yourself they are trying to dim your light so they don't want you to rise up to the occasion they don't want you to be the next bill gate in the making okay so they are trying to block all of your progress they are trying to block you from being the activist that you are from being the light worker that you are from you stopping to teach people about the age of aquarius okay that's what they are doing they don't want you to go to certain, they stop all the planes and traveling situation because they don't want you to go, I might get blocked for this. I don't want to get blocked for this. I'm not getting blocked for this. Yes, they don't want you to go to certain spot on the earth that will give you a real cosmic awakening of information, knowledge that you know from the past life of Pile 7. You have knowledge about certain places all right here on earth from the past life if you go to these places something in you is going to be activated and this ancient knowledge is going to come into your psyche and you are going to teach people about that and that is what these entities do not want wow 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 
you might be dealing with a king of cups cancer scorpio pisces and i see the star card what i say you are the star okay for five seven you are galactic you might be aquarius energy you know what your soul purpose is and you see here yeah, the system is flash uh the system is crashing because the system wants to keep you down <laughs> We are the king of cups twice. You're, you should be in a situation with a cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right? Like, what to call this thing? Um, it's like a relationship or a partnership. You should have a partnership with a cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right? So that you can turn the wheel of fortune in your favor. You and this person need to collaborate. Okay, some of you are here. A cancer scorpio Pisces hurt you to the point where you learn self-love. And now you must, uh, and the system has been trying to attack you. But still, you must, this person also is emotionally withdrawn from you and you too from them. But I'm hearing that seven of pentacles too. You super, this person might have wanted you to feel left out in the cold and abandoned. But you had the strength. After you went into hermit mood, I'm also hearing some the government Illuminati system, they're trying to do some form of coughing spell on you to freeze you, to keep you in the hermit mood, but you are not doing that because you are strong, okay? And you are not taking offer from no one. You trust no one. You don't trust people for power seven. Ace of sword, clarity. Yeah, you don't trust people because five of ones, you know, they are doing some spooky shit. Okay, yes, people don't know that the government to do magic. Yes, the government do magic on people. Why they ask you for your birth date? They ask you for your birth date so that they can check up on you. All right, they can do their check. Anywhere you go in the government system or church system or wherever you want to go, they're going to check up on you using your birth date. That's why if they don't know your birth date, you are more on a secure side. Okay, that's how that shit works. Because when they check up on your birthday, they find out your astrological chart, then they know your strength, they know your weakness, they know how to attack you. All right. And I'm here, they are doing freezing coughing spells on you if you don't know what that is. Yes, to try to block you because life part seven, life part five, life part 11, you have a master number as a life part, okay? You might even be a rat, tiger, monkey or something like that in Chinese astrology. I'm hearing. You are well informed for Pi 7. Some of you, you have been fighting these entities in your dream even though they do. Some of you, I'm hearing that when you sleep, they drain you. You might need to sleep with black tourmaline all the time. Wear your crystals. Have your house, right, completely esoteric because these entities want to stop you. All right, and I know this is about black magic and marabou, but I'm getting different information right here. All right, I'm here. You are under strong spiritual warfare. There's some form of galactic energy exchange going on in the universe where many people, right, light workers are really fighting real hard right now. All right, against the entities attacking them. You might be a Leo energy, strong Leo, okay? I'm hearing that spirit is saying when you go to the water or in the forest, you can replenish yourself. Even if it's cold, go out there, replenish yourself. All right. If you're feeling stressed down and if you have financial issues also, this is why the government don't want you to have enough. All right. So that they can um, dim your light. But it's impossible to dim your light. Some of you are tarot readers even. Okay. Light workers even. I'm also here and be careful of other tarot readers because some tarot readers are not really tarot readers. Some are karmics out there. Okay. They are trying to copy you. And also I'm here and they try to like steal your ideas or make you look dumb when they are learning from you or something like that. Or they trying to make you look dumb or even if they have more subscribers or something than you. Even if you have just 200 subscribers as a reader, they know who you are without anything. And they are attacking you too. You understand? So you have to be careful, as I said, with who you deal with. All right? Because I'm also, I just heard in my third eye that even a tarot reader, all right, has been doing some strong black magic on you and fighting you. What is it? Learning, learning how to be human 
in the world but not of it earth said yes you are learning how to be human you are in this world but you are not of this world for five seven you know what is going on here yes all these tarot readers fighting and arguing on the internet yes you know who is watching you who is trying to attack you who is doing black magic on you or who which are your youtube not growing fast enough because they want to dim your light sorry youtube but i'm speaking the truth for those comics in the youtube okay <laughs> yes for the comics in the youtube what this one said you are not alone isolation physical connection community you have a community still okay you are not alone don't feel like you are alone for pile seven all right you have a soul family a soul tribe who is connected to you and this realm and other realm okay and also your ancestors have your back okay okay you're not you are not for everyone embrace your weirdness face your true night you are not for everyone pile seven that's what the card is saying there's a next card here you're not for everyone water your garden okay it say rest okay water yourself and rest all right for pile pile seven you are different okay your life is a canvas, artist manifestation, creative accountability. All right, thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to Shani. Let's go to Black Tourmaline. All right. Let's see who is doing Black Magic on Black Tourmaline. All right, because that's the last pile even. I'm going to take this one. I love shuffling this stuff here. Let's see, Spirit, who is doing black magic and black tourmaline? Right, who is doing black magic and black tourmaline? Who is doing black magic marabou? Right, and black tourmaline. That's a whole, that is like half of the deck card, you know. Who is doing black magic and black tourmaline? Spirit, I'm going to take, I'm going to take this one back because that one is like this. Can I get a couple of these cards here? Oh, I want to say thank you all for the decks. All right. So I see here the universe. As I said, if you want to check out my social media, you can do so. Shanique everywhere. All right. Check out my social media, as I said, right? Now, who is doing black magic? So we have here... Three of Swords, okay, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. So we have here the Five of Swords. Mm -mm. oh, oh, oh. So, um, what is this? Jack of pe Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. I think Jacks are pages. Right now, my head is not working. Four of Pentacles, okay, and we have your Six of Sword, all right, and we have your the Universe and Financial Material Changes. So he's doing Black Magic here. So I'm picking up. Uh, this might be a man doing Black Magic on you, Jack of Pentacles. Yes. Um, I'm hearing that. This person, they're doing black magic on you to break your finances. So, I feel like somebody actually organized for this person to do black magic on you for, for pile eight. So that they can hurt your finances, I'm hearing. Okay? I'm hearing that this might be somebody you don't know. They, they went to somebody here to do black magic on you. They, you don't know this person. Rather Shiksa, Wheel of Fortune, yeah. So this person is doing fine uh, black magic on you, and they might be sending scrolls, um, crows, you might be seeing snakes, all right. Also, spiders and scorpions, all right. Look at this card, all these things in the card, all right. They might be doing these things so that they can, um, they're watching you. 
So why is this like this, right? So I'm also here and they just want to break your finances. Some of you, you walk away from somebody, you move on from somebody and they went to a magician to do black magic on you. Oh, because they think that because you hurt them, you should have some form of karma. So they're going to do black magic on you so that you can have a strong karma. Okay, so that your foundation can crumble. We have here the, the uh, what is this, the tower card, okay? They want to crash your foundation. Some of you, some of you, this might even be an ex-reader. Look at this thing. This might even be a reader. Because we have cards here. Five of sword. But I'm here in two situations. I'm here in that for some of you, if you are a tarot reader, you have an ex-tarot reader who is doing magic on you. If you read about dark entities, this reader, reader don't do dark entities reading. This reader do different type of reading, okay? And uh, for some of you, this person who is doing black magic on you went to a tarot reader. And the tarot reader told them everything about you. And because of that, they go to a magician to do some black magic on you. And for some of you, I feel like also this might be a tarot reader who did some black magic on you. Because you see here in the back, somebody sitting here and somebody pushing cards. Do you see that? Or uh, it might be a group of readers doing magic on you. That's what I'm hearing. Because of finances. But guess what? God is watching. The universe is watching these people. These energies. Four of pentacles. This has something to do with money. It's a pentacles. Diamonds. Yeah, diamond is pentacles. Ha! I thought it was sword. Okay. This year is sword. Okay. Spears are sword. So you move on from these energies. Okay. But here we have diamond. Some of you, this is somebody at the workplace. All right, three of pent three of pentacles. Diamond means pentacles. Okay, this is somebody you collaborate with. Or uh, this is somebody who read for you. This is somebody. Oh, they might even look like this one. Okay, if you don't know, they might look like this. All right, with red here and yellow like this. So. All right. Four of Pentacles. This person don't like the fact that you get money some way how. They don't like the fact that you have some form of financial material success in your life. Are you are more fortunate than them or you have some form of knowledge they don't have? Spirit, what is this? What is this? Seven of Cups. Yeah, you have a lot of options. Ace of Sword. Oh, they don't like the fact that you are happy, go lucky. Plus, they don't like the fact that you have a lot of people who's interested in you. The world card, yeah. Woo! Shit, these entities, they want to have you burden, okay? They want to... Some of you, this is somebody who you collaborate with. Oh, my God. Why is this now? I can't bother with this fuck shit. Uh, this one want me to pull them, so let me just pull this one. Message spirit three three. You might be seeing three threes a lot. Five fives a lot. What type of magic are they doing here? Spirit, what type of magic? So they're doing some form of herbal ritual against you. I hear seven of pentacles reverse. Three of Pentacles again. I swear to God, this is somebody at your workplace. This is some reader somebody that you... This person despise the fact that you are you and you do what you want, when you want, and you don't care about anybody. You don't care about what anything is going on. You are just doing what you want. And, I, and we have three of Pentacles twice. So most definitely somebody who is at your workplace there's some form of competition situation going on here. Stop talk to people. <laughs> if somebody you collaborate with, your ten of pentacles, this has something to do with money. They don't want to see you having money or something like that. They don't want you to have more money or more success than them. Like 
even if this person have a hundred thousand subscriber and you have like 300 subscriber this person is hating on you must be somebody i wonder if this is my reading because i know somebody be commenting in my section there about about me having less subscribers like bitch i don't care i'm reading tarot not that i don't want my channel to grow to ten thousand. yes but I don't care about 100,000 subscribers. So if you have 100,000, so this person might have 100,000 subscribers. You hear that for the person watching this. This person have 100,000. Some of you, I'm here, this person is not even a reader. He's an entity. Some of you, this person is already abundant from this, but they don't want to see you abundant. Why? Because you have different opinion than them. <laughs> you see things different from them so they feel like what they see is 100% correct not what you see or what you know the hair fan this person is a obia worker self they are a obia worker marabouist tyrus energy nine of cups six of sword twice four of sword yeah they be like, oh my god, I just can't seem to destroy this female. <laughs> Pile eight. They be like, oh my god, I can't seem to do something about the situation. If this is not a tarot reader, this is somebody you work with. 100%. Somebody you work with. Alright? Or this is an obia worker. They go to an obia worker. They go to somebody to do magic on you. And some of you, you don't even know who this is. This is the problem. That's the reason why I have a problem reading this bullshit. Because you don't know who this is. This person is lurking in the shadows I'm hearing. Let me see what this worker is saying. Oh, I hear they bury something. They do something and carry it and bury it. Some of you, I hear this person doing some form of animal sacrifice. Okay, they sacrifice animals. Star brother, Horus energy, protection, loyalty, safety, trust. Yeah, this is somebody you trust. Some of you, this is my best friend or something like this. This is somebody you trust. And this person is here to stop you from developing, okay? You are supposed to be a light worker. You are a light worker, pile eight. I'm hearing that you are here to activate the planet, bring balance in the planet, and they don't want that. This person who is doing magic and you is an entity, all right, who is sent to destroy you. For pile eight, yeah, pile, somewhere seven, eight, six, seven, eight, pile, there are something similar I'm picking up here. Cosmic gateway, Horus energy. You might be a man watching this and you might look like this, okay? You might be a guy who look like this, yes. They are doing black magic on you to stunt you, okay? Whether you are a reader man or not. If you had a YouTube channel and your channel is going slow, it's because of these entities. If you are a guy watching this, all right? That's what I'm picking up on. You have knowledge and they want to break your knowledge. Whether it's a tarot reader or whosoever this is, Right, also, I see the hair fan. This is telling me, some of you, this is somebody who know the magic really good. Six of sweat. Some of you, this person is over waters, overseas, because we have six of sweat twice, and we have four of pentacles twice. Do not take anything from people who you don't know. Some of you, is just a female who sees you having finances and wish upon it, and is hating on you and doing magic some of you from india i feel like this is an indian woman she looks like this is an indian who is doing the magic on you okay yes india it's from india i don't know but this one might most definitely america or india right here all right four of cups you might be seeing four is a lot so they're doing spells on you to stunt your good to stop you from doing a life purpose out of jealousy and bad mind some of you this is a reader some of you these people are dreaming about you because they know that they are doing sending negative energies towards you or some fuck shit like that 
that's what i'm picking up and don't crucify me i'm reading what i see in the cards and god know so you people entities out there who have been doing shit the universe god know there's an all seen i who know everything so continue your fuck shit that you'll be doing continue doing your fuck shit continue being a hater for no reason all right continue is there anything else because I, I i don't want to read anything more spirit is there anything else this is seeing potential bringing unconsciousness to light so some of you might be bringing the uncon what you call this unconsciousness to light okay and what is this one you're saying so this one is saying activated earth powerful places Lila. just where you are being led oh. i think you need to watch five six and seven for this pile all right thank you all for liking share and subscribing to shani i appreciate